Everyone started out as a little cell. So small, nobody could even see you. Before you were born, many things were decided for you. Whether you were a boy or a girl, tall or short, whether you had curly or straight hair, what color skin you had and more. Some people, however, are born with something different, something that makes your mind and body work in many different ways than the rest. While Down syndrome is a chromosomal disorder, a baby is usually identified at birth through observation of a set of common physical characteristics. Some physical characteristics may include a flat appearing face, small head, flat bridge of the nose, low set nose that is smaller than normal, a small mouth, upwarding slanted eyes, extra folds of skin located at the inside corner of each eye, rounded cheeks, small misshapen ears, overly flexible joints, and shorter than normal height. Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder is the most common psychiatric disorder among babies and teenagers. Children and teens who are diagnosed with ADHD have inattention, which means they have trouble keeping focus for long periods of time. There are many possible causes as to why one might have ADHD. If one or both of your parents are diagnosed with a disorder, it increases your chances. Some symptoms found in children that are diagnosed with ADHD are inattention, hyperactivity, impulsivity, mental high sensitivity, chronic forgetfulness, anxiety, low self-esteem, anger management issues, risk of addiction, procrastination, mood swings, and depression. There is no cure for ADHD. However, the symptoms can be controlled by taking medication prescribed to you by your doctor. When most people think of dyslexia, they think of seeing words backwards, like B and D and vice versa. Or they may think that people with dyslexia see the word saw as was. In fact, they actually see it the same way as everyone else does. Dyslexia is caused by a processing problem. This means that people with dyslexia have a problem interpreting it, not saying it. To discover if one has dyslexia, you need to do a series of tests. One question that may be asked is if you remove the C to a word, what does it make? In this case, it makes the word at. This can be difficult for people with dyslexia. They may even need to break the word apart. For example, the word fantastic. They need to pronounce it as fan ta stick, just like this. Time decoding makes it hard for people to keep up with their peers, and it can be very inefficient. Another symptom is that they spell words phonetically, friends as friends. These issues are more widespread than one might think. These issues affect up to one in five people. These issues vary, as one may have a very serious case of it and another very mild, very hard to detect and diagnose. Dyslexia also runs in the family, making it genetic. We shouldn't be so quick to judge and call one's brain with dyslexia defective, as very creative individuals have this issue, such as Picasso, Muhammad Ali, Steven Spielberg, Cher, and also Albert Einstein, Leonardo da Vinci, all these individuals clearly have the ability to be just fine in life despite their problem. Here is the way the brain of a person carrying this disorder works. The brain is divided into two parts. The left hemisphere is in charge of language and reading, while the right handles spatial activities. Studies show that the brain of one with dyslexia rely more on the right hemisphere and the frontal lobe. This means that when they read, a word has a longer trip and can get delayed in the frontal lobe. Those with dyslexia can physically change their brain and improve their reading with intensive learning to decode and break the language down. They learn to use their left side of their hemisphere for reading instead of their right, and over time, their reading improves.